What is up, my crazy Vaconians? My name's you can call me V, and welcome back to Jurassic World the game. For those of you that are surprised that there's yet another video, don't be. There's a new update thingy. Well, not an update, but they brought in a new aquatic hybrid, which we'll get onto shortly. For those that actually do follow me on Twitter, first and foremost, hi. Secondly, you'll know that I have got a big gripe with this game at the moment. Very, very big, in fact, that I'm not going to be playing it nowhere near as much as often as I used to. I used to be able to complete events every single day, all of them, and now I can't, and that winds me up, and it makes me angry. So, rather than get angry, I'll just remove myself from it. So, I'm going to stop playing the game. I'm going to keep my VIP on just so I can get the DNA and so on and so forth. But if I don't fix it in the next update, I'm removing VIP and this game will be a very rare thing on my channel. That sucks that I'm not holding Ludia hostage or, you know, demanding it. It's just, it's better to remove yourself from something that doesn't bring you joy anymore. And this game used to bring me so much joy until very recently. And I love the mod edition. But enough moaning and groaning. Let's get on to what this video is about. So one, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fishy alive. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, I ate it and went to bed. So, there you go, we have a new aquatic hybrid. Zephanctinus and Plognathodon create. Synathodon? Like, naming department, not on point. Like, it could have been Zinathodon. That would have been fun to say, or Zineprodon. Oh, even funner. But, you know, Zinathodon. I just said Zinathodon, and that was... Uh, ignore me. It's not that bad. It could be worse. But, you can buy it which is just not great. Don't. It costs £65, and you can make it. Fortunately, as you can see by my rapidly drained DNA, it costs a lot, and I bought it. <laughs> and I do mean it costs a lot, so where is it? Come on. I also accidentally bought a Leptostega, um, so they've got a level 10 Leptostega now. So there's an Aphodon level 10. Ooh, um, you can see it costs 26,600 DNA, and a lot of people say it's not even got that good stats, but for an aquatic, it has all right stats. So, yeah, it still shouldn't be that much. Like, the half, uh, apart from Dunkleosaurus, all of the stats for the aquatic hybrids should be half, um, doubled or the price is halved. But that's not going to happen. So, here we are. Anyway, um, this guy's reading for Evo 1 is this powerful aquatic hybrid spent most of its time hunting near the surface of the water. And then blah, blah, blah. We have got a level four, uh, level 40 to go in this video, and as you can see, it looks freaking awesome. It's like a dragon koi fish. It's nuts. So we're going to go ahead and, um, well, we're going to get him to level 40. We're also going to take part in the boss battle tournament. Meh, maybe, you know, tournaments give you some good SDNA, as do the um, boss battles. You get 10. I'm holding out on Clash of Titans in case we get a new super hybrid in the next six or seven days. Um, if we do, then I get an extra SDNA boost, which is going to be freaking needed, which means I'll have to do all the events every day again. I got up to 50,000 bucks, but sw swiftly dropped down because of the events and um, getting this guy ready to be turned into a level 40. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start leveling. Go to. Let's get him as many level 10s as I can. Good lord, they cost a bit. We're not going to really care about seeing the feeding animation because we'll see it when it's level 40. Because, well, we can. <laughs> Let's go ahead and... Oof! In one. Yes, thank you very much. Right. Didn't actually cost that much to um, bucks-wise to get um, eight like eight of them sped up. It, well, seven of them sped up and one sped up in the incubating thing. It wasn't too bad. Why am I, most of my bucks are going to go is during this process in the creation lab. We've got loads of food. Not as much as I'd like. But we've got loads of food. Um, so we're nice and prepped. I wonder, this tournament, is it going to use boosts or mods, should I say? Because that would be a massive drain to coins and stuff. But still, I wouldn't mind it, because I'd like to see something like that once in a while. And collect, place, and last one. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't feed him up. And go to. <laughs> you all thought you were going to get to see an eating animation, an eating animation. You were wrong. Wait, why would it be an eating animation? A eating animation. I don't know, because of course it would be an because it's an a then an e. I do Right. Now there's me thinking, well, the the um, vowel has to become before the a for it to be an an, and that's just ridiculously dumb. So I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and get this guy to level twenty. Also, I am unbelievably hot right now. Like this room's an oven. It's quite warm in the UK for the first time in ages, and I don't deal with heat very well. 
For those of you who don't know, prepare to have a little story. I used to be in the Armed Force Reserves, so yes, that was fun. I actually did quite enjoy it. It was quite a bit of life experience for me. And um, I went on training one day, and basically we did what we used to call tab. I don't know they still call them tabs, but a tab. Basically, it's a weighted walk, jog, run thing where you put a load of weight in a Bergen or a backpack if you don't know what a Bergen is. And then walk, run, jog, so on forth. But it was 35 degrees outside. And don't get me wrong, I know the forces serve across, you know, in countries that are a lot hotter than that on average. But this was training. Basic training. We're talking, I hadn't even got that far in. And we did it at 35 degree heat. It was one of the hottest times in the UK in a very, very long time. Uh, long story short, we missed a couple of water stops. I passed out and thought I was possessed. I can't remember this. I just get told it when I go to the hospital by the sergeant. He says, oh, well, I'm so sorry. I'm like, it's fine. It's fine. I passed out. I had a nap. Had a bit of giggle about that. And he went, no, you didn't. And then proceeded to explain that I thought I was possessed. Screamed for the padre and vomited and dragged three full-grown soldiers across the room, which is an argument because I'm weedy. Okay, this is an argument that I was possessed because I am not that strong. People will say adrenaline. I will say, nope. I had a demon inside me, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, fun fact, I used to be possessed. Uh, and that's um, and then later on, we did some testing. I um, have poor thermal regulation. So, I never... That's a lot. I can get cold if it's like negative 15 outside or something like that, but it's usually my hands or feet that really feel the cold. Everything else, I can go outside in like um, a short sleeve top and a shirt. Quite, you know, fine. Also, this colouring, it looks like a salmon. Ah, oh, we're not going to see the animation. Don't want to see the animation. Go to go. Ah, quickly. There we go. <laughs> no animation. Oh, dearie me. That looks incredible. I actually love this hybrid. I love Dunkleosaurus, but the level 40 was not as metal as it should have been. This looks metal. All right, let's see what you look like. Oh, good lord. You... Are a new favourite looking hybrid. Aren't you now? Let's try and get a thumbnail. I'm going to do one normal feed so you can see what it looks like. And I can actually see what it looks like. I don't know which animation it's going to use. Oh, it's Prognathodon's animation. And nom. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. Oh, that's pretty cool. Not going to lie. Try and get a thumbnail this time. It's just too quick to be able to get it most of the time. There we go. I think we got it there, I don't know. It's not loading up, so there we go. What did we get? <laughs> That's not the thumbnail, but it is meme worthy, I like it. I'm not gonna try and take another thumbnail. What I'm doing is just get out and then I should be able to get a thumbnail from the actual video itself. Oh, well that was comedy gold, I must admit. It's just that derpy little face. Right, level 40, here we go. Not the best of stats, but still. Xenathodon is a uh, Xenathodon is a surface creature. However, as it ages, it becomes more comfortable in deeper waters. Interesting. Xenathodon develops purple colouring as it matures. This helps it camouflage the surface at the surface of the reflective waters. Oh, that makes sense. Xenathodon's facial spikes are defensive, but it also helps it sense tremors in the water that may be caused by prey. Oh, like a catfish. Also, it looks amazing. Like, good lord. You could have told me that was a Dunkleosteus hybrid, and I'd believe you. Oh, that is absolutely stunning. And now I get a chance to use it very shortly in one of the, um, in the boss battle. Get a bit of lag, my god, maybe screenshotting whilst recording. Wasn't the best of ideas. But, you know, it's all good. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, there is a tasty bit of lag. Right. What am I fighting again? What's it called? The something. Am a Akupara. Cool. So reach your level 7. And participate once. And that will get me uh, quite a bit, to be fair. Um, yeah, we're going to get loads from this. So I, I don't really feel bad about missing all the events that I missed. Because I'm going to get loads of SDNA from this. And I've recently got an Indoraptor. I've got six now. Um, and Monolophosaurus, we're going to have a level 10 as well as a level 40. More, high, uh, more herbivores the better. I ain't going to complain. But I would like, I really would like it to switch over to a new super hybrid within the next week. Unlikely, in which case I'll just get another 50 for a Velociraptor and Mono, which is going to be useful, I guess. I could probably do all of these events with no quarrel. Um, it's just the, the stupid ones, like, um, the Silver Screen weather is easy because they don't ever go over level 40. But, like, when you're facing things that, like level 100 or more, even when it's a Golden Rewards pack, I promise you it's not 
worth it. Because the Golden Rewards Pack... Oh, I could win some bucks. Maybe get the bucks back that I had to spend on getting the creatures that are good enough for it, yeah? No! 4% chance to get 500 bucks. That's like two creatures for me. That's disgusting. Ah, anyway, uh, let's get past my gripes that have re rinsed and repeated so many times. Try and avoid doing the attack of seven points because that's an easy one. Um, we are going to go for just getting this done. Um, so we're just going to spawn in. Oh, what was it needed? Was it surface? Six surface, nine reefs. So we're just going to do a quick little run through of getting a head start on the nine reefs. So we're going to go here. Go in. Exit out, funnily enough, so that we can get the complete and one. Then we can um, complete it once. Then we can do the get ten of them because uh, you've got to enter it first time to be able to get the. Um, uh, I know. We'll see what it looks like. Oh, it's pretty cool. Um, give up. <laughs> so you got to go in and go out to be able to get the. Um, oh, what do you call it? The DNA challenge. There we go. Fight Akapara Akapara one time. Done it. Now I can do the ten raid event missions. And that is how you do that. So, and now we just jump in. Oh my god, the lag. So I've got to use nine reef creatures, so wouldn't you believe it? We're going to just use another three reefs. Uh, where are we? Basically, now I've started this, I have to complete it in the time it takes me to um, finish this video. Otherwise, it will go drop back down to zero, which is why you could never use the block glitch for this, which is why I'm actually okay at this sort of challenge. Because I'm not used to using the block glitch, and because it's not stupidly overpowered. But you know, that's just personal gripe. Right. Is there anything I hear that can do 500 damage just off bat? Uh, I'm pretty sure if I just go for some reserves here and get up a 7, if all goes well. Unlikely, but possible. Completely possible. We'll see what happens here, though. Because if he goes for 2 here, yeah, he doesn't. That's good. Right, so I can go for 3. Next turn, I can go for a decent chunk of 4. Oh, he's got three. He's got three. What's he gonna do with it? Well, then, oh, you know, it's not the worst thing. I can go for. Do we reckon he's gone for two blocks? Yeah, I do. I should have gone for two attacks. I wouldn't be able to do much. I mean, like, look. He's got enough to take me down and survive. He's got a lot of health. He's definitely a health tank right now. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One reserve. Get as much damage as I can done down, even though it'll only give me the 500 one, in which case that wasn't really got a point to it, but you know. <sighs> right, six. Also, hate the fact that they've given you a new aquatic hybrid, and it's weak against the boss that's come out, because the boss is a freaking reef, and we've just got a freaking surface. Yay, I guess. I mean, it looks awesome. I love it. I would have appreciated it being another cave. The reason I'm arguing that case is because... We have got enough strong surfaces, like we got Plotosaurus, got um, Tylosaurus, Mosasaurus, Dunkleosaurus. We haven't got many strong caves. We've got a few reefs to be fair, but not many. So we need more reefs, more caves to really bulk it out. But hey, that's just my personal opinion. 500 super rare creatures. That's going to happen because I'm going to use my freaking hybrids. So, six surface attacks and five attack of six points. That's, that's too high for a low level. That's ridiculous. Right. Low level mission, I mean by that. So, I've completed three. Yeah, I've completed three. Cool. Yeah, that has carried over nicely. So, five super rares and six surfaces. So, we're just going to jump in with some surfaces. Uno, dos. Where are we? Where's place? Eh, if I can get as many... um, And give up. Yep. Yeah, if I can get as many uh, glorious of doubles there, there we go, two, now I can use two more super rares and three more surfaces and I've got another batch done. For these types of challenges, this is exactly what you want to do. <laughs> Just go for the super rares, I've only got one, oh, damn it, right, well that's fine, that's fine, we'll get the, actually no, they only cost that much to buy back, we'll grab those two, and we'll grab you, because I know it's still uh, spent, but I don't really care at this point, trust me, I really do not care. <laughs> There we go, six surface creatures, and five super rares, ooh, team two legendary creatures, two dimes, and two super rares, so we're going to go ahead and use our super rares then, so, we're going to go for giant orth cone, decoderma, no, it's an aphidon, no, 
Yeah, it's enough as long because it can take a couple of attacks, to be fair. And we're going to get a decent thumbnail opportunity as Xenathodon takes down or takes on Akupara81. Because this guy is going to help me build reserves, um, Giant Orthocone, because he can still do some pretty decent damage, but not much. Just remember he is level 2 now, so he can do some damage. Wait, he's level 2? When did I take him down? Oh, and we went for 7 attacks. To be fair, we did go for 7, so that would make sense. 4 reserves, 2 blocks. Hopefully goad him into an attack shortly. <laughs> yes, probably not. Come on, go for 4. Go for four, you scrub. I need to go for six, don't I? Oh, yeah. So you can go for two reserves. Was it six attacks of five? Or five attacks of six? I don't remember. <laughs> so we have a six, it's fine. <gasps> oh, no, I made noopsy. I wanted to get, like, eight reser eight attacks with the um, Zenathodon, but I just remembered it doesn't really matter because I want to get a thumbnail of him fighting Akubara. Oof. That's a big yikes, chief. It's all good. Is there a thermal opportunity here? Probably. Is it difficult to get? Absolutely, freaking lootly because they don't really show his face. Well, not too pleased with that, am I? <laughs> oh, dear me, right. Um, is there really, though? You know what? Let's take a short flurry, because by the time it loads, any moment now, it's going to load. We'll go for five and one reserve. Why didn't I get my thumbnail from that? Thank you. About damn time. Don't even know if that's any good. Actually, that is actually quite okay. It's nice and spaced out. Admittedly, they're a bit too close to the freaking task bars and UI, but we'll work with it. We'll live with it. Right, five attacks here. So I should have got, I think, maybe one or two of my challenge requirements that I don't even know at this point. I also get to find out if it was five or six, because I just went for five at the end, so that was a nice little chunk. He's got six. He can go for six, because he knows he can take me down on the last one, so he's going to do it in style, of course. And the battle rage is on. Oh, that looks so cool. That's a good thumbnail opportunity, but it doesn't show news that it's a new Synathodon. Oh. It was six points. That's fine. Team two legendary creatures. Stop giving me the attacks of. They suck. Right. Seven out of ten. Great. If I team these two legendaries up now, and I get, I will be very, very unhappy. Oh, quite very. Yeah, come on. And if I get something stupid, and I mean stupid, like. Mer, to you do 420 attacks of 409. I'll be like, oh, go to hell. <laughs> Giving me the dumbest ones. Let's have a look, see what we got. Oh, I've got to do it twice and I crikey, right, yeah, I forgot. That means I can have a super red to bulk out the numbers though, that's fine. Yay! And give up. I could be getting six attacks from it, trust me, I get that. However, we want to sort of be just trying to get as many of these done as possible, right. Three legendary creatures and 3,000 damage. That can be done. So we're just going to go for boom, boom. And I don't want to be using all my aquatics, to be fair. Like, I'm just going to do what I need to do for the event. And then I'm going to keep them for, like, the um, VIP aquatic event that's coming. So, yay. Oof, this video is nearly 20 minutes long. It's getting towards our longer one after us at other games. The reason why we don't usually do them that long is because, of course, the game flips out. <laughs> Well, that's a lie. The recording flips out. Or my phone, or Elgato. I don't know. It's one of them. So we're going to do. Give it. Come on. Just need to do a decent chunk of damage. Which we're going to do, to be fair, like, quite easily. So. Oof, he can kill me in three, so he's probably going to go for three. Just calling. You know, for shock horror. Ludia makes the game harder than it needs to be. Again. <laughs> I mean, it's always been a known fact that you should go for three, so I'm not going to really hold that against them. Uh, six attacks, two reserves, meaning we can go for another year. six attacks the next turn. We've got the damage requirement we need. We've used the dinosaurs. Well, not dinosaurs. We've used the creatures we need. we got this in the bag. I've still got to record another Durango. I've been playing Durango. I've been recording it too. I've still got to record Hungry Dragon because my tournament comes out tomorrow as much as other things. Got an update coming soon too. Oh, good lord. So much to record. So very little time. Considering I have to record then wait 20 to 30 minutes for it to render via um, Elgato is just not peachy. It takes forever. 
Come on, let me finish this damn event, please. In the meantime, though, it gives me a chance to like do chores and whatnot while I wait, and then I jump into another recording, and then I jump out, and then I do more chores, and then I like, edit, and so on and so forth. It's quite nice. The thing is, I've just got to record one more thing after this, and then I'm just editing, and then I'm getting whatever I don't need done. In fact, I should, I don't even know if I can record. <gasps> the time! Oh, it's half five! Good lord, I still need to get this video up tonight! <laughs> Oopsie poopsie. Anyway guys, if you have enjoyed today's video, please make sure you do some mahoosh like button. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and because better accounts are super duper appreciated. If you are subscribed, you can join the super secret special forces, also known as the notification squad. But don't tell anyone, it's a secret guys. Stay tuned, we've got more dress of the game coming. Not as much as it used to be, don't worry, unless they fix it, in which case, yes, loads more than it used to be. Um, Jurassic World, the game, Jurassic World Alive, was going to be recorded tonight, but yeah, potentially coming back, we'll see. Um... What was your flip? Uh, Durango's coming soon. We've got more of my time at Port Church, Jurassic World Evolution, The Isle. We've got quite a few more of those coming as well, which is nice. I know I'm missing. Oh, and of course, Hungry Dragon this weekend. <laughs> Lots of that. So, guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't, uh, wait, I've already done this. <laughs> You're so much for watching. Have a nice day. And ta ra! <sighs> I'm so tired. <laughs>